Our solar system includes the sun, the planets, the moons, and many other celestial bodies. Humans have been studying the solar system for thousands of years, and we're always learning something new. How much do you know about Earth and its neighbors? Find out in three, two, one. Which of the following planets is closest to the sun? Venus, Uranus, Saturn. The distance of a planet from the sun has a strong effect on the planet's temperature. Venus, which is the second planet from the sun, is very hot. Its surface temperature is over 400 degrees Celsius, which is hotter than an oven. Saturn, which is much further from the sun, is a lot colder. Its surface temperature is less than negative 160 degrees Celsius, which is much colder than the coldest place in Antarctica. Jupiter is the largest planet in the solar system. In this picture, you can see the planet's famous great red spot. At least two planets the size of Earth could fit inside of it. But what is the great red spot? Is it a storm, a mountain, an ocean? The Great Red Spot is a very large storm, with winds of about 400 miles per hour. The storm was first seen in 1665 by an astronomer named Giovanni Cassini. Jupiter takes 4,332 days to orbit, or go around, the Sun. Earth is closer to the Sun, so its orbit is just 365 days. So if planets like Earth orbit the Sun, what orbits the planets? Moons do. How long does the moon take to go around Earth? About 27 hours, about 27 days, about 27 weeks. The moon takes about 27 days to go around Earth. That's about the same time it takes to spin on its own axis. This is why the same side of the moon always faces Earth. Look closely at these pictures. They were taken on different nights. However, no matter how much of the moon is lit up, the pattern of features on the moon's surface doesn't change. As Earth goes around the sun, the sun, Earth, and the moon are sometimes positioned along a straight line. When this happens, Earth and the moon can cast shadows on each other. A solar eclipse happens when light from the sun casts a shadow of the moon on Earth. This is a picture of a solar eclipse taken from Earth. As you can see, the sun is hidden from view by the moon. How are the sun, moon, and Earth positioned during a solar eclipse? In a straight line with Earth in the middle, in a straight line with the moon in the middle, in a straight line with the sun in the middle. The word eclipse means cover or hide. During a solar eclipse, the moon eclipses the sun. In this drawing, you can see the shadow of the moon falling on Earth. To continue answering questions and learning more about science, visit ixl.com science.